we're gonna make a matcha latte. Y'all had asked me to know how I make it, so I thought I would share with you how I make it. And uh, yeah, it's super freaking simple. You can obviously do it way more fancy than I am, but this does the trick. I prefer a regular or like a nut-based milk when I'm drinking this much of it, but literally you can use whatever. I've used a regular one as well. You do need two different cups, one that's short to blend it and then a regular one. You can get all fancy and froth it. If you have like a hand frother or a regular frother, you can do that. I'm just not doing that today. So you just want to add a little bit of milk in the base of that. And then take, I use the matcha green tea powder little packets. They literally are just matcha powder, nothing else. So if it's already sweetened, cool. If not, I'll show you how I add the sweetener of choice. Maker makes some real funky noises. Okay, so put that guy in there. I'm not a professional matcha maker. I'm just showing you how I make mine, so don't come for me. But this little whisk is not necessary, but I think it's kind of necessary. Um, I think it helps really incorporate the matcha into the milk before just dumping the packet in. You can also use like a shaker bottle or something like that, or a blender or whatever. But I find that this is really easy to combine. It's easy to scrape down the sides. You can get these really affordable on Amazon, a link to kit that we have. Just a little bit of milk and you just wanna basically make sure that the matcha is incorporated in the milk and blended through so there's not a bunch of big chunkies. There's gonna be some chunkies in there, but that's fine. Depending on how much you wanna whisk it, but I just kinda of check and see how it's looking. Yeah, there's a little bit of chunky still in there, but it blends in better with warm milk than it does with cold. Mind? Oh, I broke part of my whiskey. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take and fill this up with ice. This part is optional um, for honey. I like I like to sweeten mine with honey, but I like to heat this up a tiny bit so that the honey dissolves in a little bit easier. So I throw this in the microwave for literally a couple seconds. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my milk into my cup, like so. Okay. Literally like 10 seconds is all you need to just warm it through. Okay, I probably did a little bit too long. I did about 12 seconds. But anyway, then you wanna take your honey, depending on how sweet you want it, Do about a tablespoon and again this is just gonna help mix everything together the honey dissolves better in warm liquid than in hot liquid so or in hot hot liquid first cold liquid I'm the worst. Okay, and then I just take my matcha, dump it in. Sometimes I'll take just a little bit more milk just to kind of rinse it all out and get all the goodness in. There, out of there. Perfect. If you want a stronger latte, use two packets. Take a minute to 
like mix it all. But that's my matcha latte. So good. I have been really kind of getting my life together today and letting myself chill from vlogging, trying to find my cat. Um, ow, oh, I really messed up my back. Trying to chill from vlogging today and filming today and kind of just doing a little bit more behind the scenes to kind of gather my life and feel a little bit more put together. I'm sure you gathered from the vlog, the previous vlog, that I've been a bit frazzled in my life. And so I just decided to take my own words and have a chiller day today and not be on camera as much, even though I was this morning. <laughs> um, so it felt good. I'll show you a little bit of stuff that I got up to and and whatnot, but uh, a matcha. I'm so excited to have this matcha. Yes, it's like four. Oh my God, it's five o'clock. I gotta leave for getting Arlo. Okay, I'll show you really quick. Scott did go to Top Golf by himself. We're just gonna chill here tonight. I my back is not feeling great. I figured it'd be a good chance for him to get out of the house by himself, enjoy some friend time, and yeah. Okay, so cleaned up the kitchen quite a bit. I think I'm actually gonna throw this away. I don't think it's gonna propagate. We got a bunch of coffee in. This is Scott's and I's favorite coffee. So make iced coffee with that. Scott just texted me. Oh my god. There's a four hour wait. <laughs> He's gonna go hit a bucket of balls. Okay, anyways, cleaned up the living room a bit. Um, Major Winley. I needed to vacuum up the stairs, but I did not get to that before my vacuum died. Didn't get a new battery though. Um, this is all stuff that I need to take down. I still have not broke down and bought that basket because then I realized I'm gonna need a top basket and a bottom basket. It's just a mess, <laughs> okay? Um, laundry going. Cleaned up the floor a bit, did some laundry. Still need to put the duvet in the duvet cover. Um, <clears throat> cleaned up the mess that was Arlo's room. He loves the freedom of making a mess before he goes to daycare every morning, which, I mean, to be honest with you, it's kind of crazy, but it's fine. And then I got a good bulk of my office done. I got my new chair in. I am going to be putting a full video up on decorating my office on my main channel on Friday, I think. But I got this chair in, so excited. Absolutely love it. It's everything I wanted, the Sherpa-y feel to it. I love the lighting that my office gets in the afternoon. It is just so pretty. Um, brought my sink plan over here so I can get some more light. I'm replacing this mirror. My Amazon mirror should come in today. So that's going to go in the bedroom. This is actually the last random box I need to sort through. Um, but yeah, feeling, feeling really good about getting some stuff done a little bit more, I don't know, behind the scenes and just kind of like get my life together. I also thinned out my ends, but I didn't style it, um, cause I do want to wash my hair today. I also sunless tanned. You also have a full video on that if you're curious, but, um, it felt good to kind of get some stuff checked off my list and feel a bit more organized because I was feeling chaotic and watered my plants. We had a good day today. You wanna wash your hands? Yeah. Okay. I get soap. Okay. I get soap. Honey, soap. Okay. You need soap on both hands? Okay, grab. You ready to dry them off? Hey, whoa, okay. Here, dry hands. I want more water. We're gonna cut some cucumbers. You wanna help me cut? No, I don't want to cut, cut, cut. Oh, you do want to cut, cut, cut. Okay, hey, let me it's rinse it. Can mommy rinse it? That's ouchie. What's ouchie? That's ouchie. No, this is an ouchie, this is a cucumber. You're gonna have some with your pizza tonight. Can you help me, hold on, let me cut. Make cut. Make cut. Right, that's yours. Cut. <coughs> Good job. Left. Yeah, more. Oh. Ooh. Good job. You got it. Left. Belly. Yeah, more. Yeah. Why don't you cut it like that? Yep. Like this. Okay, 
careful. We use our knives carefully. It's not toys, remember? Careful. Careful. Like this. You wanna cut that one? Cut, cut, cut. Careful. Press, there you go, good job. Uh oh, that piece is for Winnie. Cut one more time. Good job, okay, put it on your plate. Okay, my mommy's gonna cut these because they're very hard. You can try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mommy helps. Very, very hard. Yeah, mommy helps. Okay. Oh, cut it. How to cut it? Mommy already cut it. I cut it. Okay. Me cut it. You cut it. They're slippery. <laughs> oh. You want mommy help? You just gonna eat it? Here, let mommy help. Yeah. Cut. Huh? Alright. Now we're just ready for the pizza, huh? The pizza. Who's that? Pizza. I still, I stand by Papa John's, but I love Still to this day ordering cheeseless pizza. It's like my favorite. So I get the garden veggie, no cheese, but we found out that Arlo, do you like the garlic sauce? Is a big fan of the garlic sauce. You gotta eat more pizza, buddy. No. You don't like it? You want me to take the toppings off for you? I was mirroring yesterday and I didn't even notice this when I set it up until just now. I'm so bummed. It's not like super noticeable, but oh, I'm kind of bummed about it, not gonna lie. I don't want to drag this thing or turn it. It's heavy as heck. Good morning. Hello. Happy Wednesday. I just got back from the gym and filling up my gas tank for 16 gallons cost me $86. <laughs> what the heck, man? That's not cool. Anyway, I'm going to make myself a protein shake and then some coffee. I swear I meant to film my cold brew coffee situation. Before Scott did it, but so these are our favorite beans, the Stumptown, Stumptown, whatever, Stumptown, um, Hairbender. We like a citrusy blend to our coffee. We have the, um, we get whole beans, always get whole beans, and try not to get like flavored coffee because it doesn't come through when you like cold brew it. I don't know how to explain it, it just doesn't. Um, we use the coffee grinder attachment for the Vitamix. It's pricey, but fine um, or you can literally go to like any store or you just get a small grinder which was what we used to use before we upgraded to this so we pulse and grind our beans and then we have the toddy coffee making kit I've talked about this a million times I will link it down below for you guys it's amazing it does come with a glass container but we broke it or I broke it and this little plastic container works just fine it comes with a little stopper it's like a felt little like disc about this thick that goes right into the bottom of it and that's how it filters out so we let it sit overnight ideally like 12 hours is the ideal so we do it right before bed and then wake up and just pop the top out or like pop the plug out you fill the whole thing up with water fill the beans in it sorry ground beans water up to the top let it drain after 12 hours and that's it and then we just store it in the fridge and i would say this thing we go through it probably for a week yeah, definitely before a week. But this makes super concentrated coffee. So I mix this, I fill the rest of it up. I put it in this, which is a, let me, this is a 64, I think this is 64 ounces. A gallon, I wanna say, I don't know, honestly. This container easily fits in our fridge, but I put this coffee into here and then fill the rest up. <laughs> A mess this morning fill the rest up with water and then I also personally dilute it just a bit more before I use it um, in my cup of coffee just probably like this much of water at the bottom of the cup um, just because it's so strong for me but this is super strong coffee and then Scott just drinks it plain after it's been just diluted once but yeah it can you can stretch it and make it last longer depending on how many people are drinking the cup of coffee but I would say out of a bag with being diluted I would say we get probably 10 to 12 cups. 
yeah, I would say. Depends. Depends how much we drink. Depends all that stuff. More than 10 to 12 cups. Maybe 10 to 12 like our cups. <laughs> we do more than eight ounces for coffee. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's how we make um, our cold brew. Next time, I swear, I will share it with you. Promise. Lighting is crazy today. Um, I've been MIA pretty much all afternoon, it feels like. Um, I have to wait to film this or film in this room until the afternoon because the sun rises over there and sets over here. So it gets really good, like afternoon, evening light. Um, but I really wanted to get this video up today. So it's been like where I've been like back to back. I typically never film and edit and do everything all in one day because it takes hours and it's just not, it just is too much. <laughs> so I like to kind of split things up, especially because I do a main channel and a vlog every, whatever, it doesn't matter. So I've been just doing that and my computer has been notoriously slow. I know I need a new one. Um, but I'm kind of just like waiting to see which dies first, my camera or my computer. And then we'll go from there. But anyway, um, uploading that, drinking some coffee. I desperately need to go to Target because Winnie had an accident in my office carpet like yesterday and I ordered like a shampoo and it said it would get delivered like carpet shampoo for our Bissell thing and it just keeps getting delayed and now it's saying Sunday and I cannot like even it, you know dog like any urine of any kind like it doesn't matter how well you clean it with whatever you clean it. It needs to have this specific enzyme. And I love her. She's just old. And um, this smells so bad. It's literally making me nauseous <laughs> being in this room. But I'm trying to suck it through. Suck it up. Get through it. So I need to run to Target as soon as I can. <laughs> finish this video and get it up. So I can get that cleaned up. Because it's driving me nuts. And it's just disgusting. So that is on the list. Um, and then I was thinking... I don't know. I have no idea what I, Oh, I think I'm going to make trout for dinner tonight because I got trout from Aldi the other day, which I think I'm just going to do something super simple like rice, trout, and green beans. Trout, I guess, Scott was saying is like a salmon situation. So I was thinking of um, maybe just even putting it in like a packet with like, like a foil packet, throwing it in the oven with some butter, garlic, lemon, calling it macaroni. Um, something super simple and easy. I have not, I had a protein shake today and some coffee that I'm still working through. So your girl does really needs to eat, which is probably gonna be leftover pizza from last night. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. I literally can only take my hair like this. Like this is the only way I really am falling in love with my hair, which is kind of like obnoxious that I have to like curl it all the time because these curls just don't hold in my short hair because I can't put it up when I sleep. So I lose all my curls every time I go to bed. So short girl, hair, short hair girls out there, let me know what do you do when you sleep? Because even if I put it in like a satin silk scrunchie, it falls out. So... I feel like I just sleep plain and I'm such a thrasher sleeper and it all just falls out. So that's where we're at with that. So I constantly have to curl it like pretty much every day, which is kind of annoying, but I really like it. So ah, I'm obsessed with it. Uh, yeah, getting up an H&M haul up on the channel, which will already be posted by the time I make this live. So I'll go ahead and link it down below if you're curious to check it out. I found some super cute pieces. Um, and yeah, and tomorrow I want to finish decorating my office. I finally have all my pieces in here. I just need to do some final touches, organization things, so that I can film an office tour for you guys, which I'm excited about. 17, why don't I carry it by my tripod? 17 million hours later, I'm done. It's before four o'clock, which was my goal. So, little outfit of the day. I have my black denim shorts on that I've been living in from Abercrombie. Um, the shirt is also from Abercrombie. The shirt is from Target. Shoes, Birkenstocks dog winnie video up pizza eight let's go target super quick little car target haul i got some little sweat pants for arlo and 2t because they were six bucks compared to 12. i grabbed 
this Mexican style Caesar salad. These have been my jams for salads. These kits, um, Nashville style hot, which sounds delicious. Um, the whole reason I went was for carpet cleaner. This isn't what I wanted, but it'll work. Um, some lemons down there for dinner, as well as some cheese for dinner. And I thought it would be fun to do like a frozen yogurt DIY at home and I grabbed some chocolate chips for that. So that's all I grabbed from Target. I've literally never done this frozen yogurt thing, but I feel like how hard can it be, right? I'm probably gonna eat those words, but <laughs> I'm gonna try it anyways. All right, we're gonna do chocolate peanut butter honey chocolate yogurt situation. Oh, this lighting, hold up one second. I can just like never bring myself to close all the blinds because I love the light that it, that it brings me. I just hate how um, my lighting is always trash because of it. All right, let's get like a tour tub thing. Hopefully this is good. <laughs> okay. Using non-fat Greek yogurt or low-fat? Sorry, low-fat Greek yogurt. I got from Aldi's house. This first. Yeah, not sweet at all. Okay. I'm gonna use quite a bit because it's gonna be dessert for myself, Arlo, and Scott. So, I don't know. <laughs> quite a bit of that. Probably close to three servings. There's only five servings in the container, so there's that then. I'm gonna go in with honey to sweeten it. Hopefully this mixes in with the yogurt. Oh yeah, it mixes in with the yogurt really good. Really well. I guess you probably could use sugar too, or just use sweetened yogurt. Probably would also be really a nice touch. I think there's some sweetener in here. Yes. There's palm sugar in here. Ooh, that'll help sweeten it up a bit too. Okay, let's try it. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna put, well, I'm gonna go with my peanut butter first. This is just powdered peanut butter. Um, I'm gonna go with this. I hope it doesn't change my consistency too much. Sorry you can't see me. But this is a recipe. Just kidding, this is a, wing it with me situation. This would be good with some chopped almonds or chopped peanuts actually in there. What'd you find to eat, Winnie? I hear you crunching on something. Do you ever wonder like what your dog just randomly finds on the floor? And if it's edible? Sometimes Winnie will eat non-edible things and I'm just like, girl, are you that hungry? And she's like, yeah. So I'll let her do her thing, you know? Okay. Okay, more peanut butter. Yogurt's really good for you. This way Arlo can eat it as well. I like getting him involved. He had so much fun making dessert the other night that I really wanna um, get him more involved. I do involve him a lot with cooking, but I wanna even get even more involved with it. Um, so I got some Ghirardelli. I don't know how big they are, so we'll have to see. Yeah, they're kinda big. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Mm-hmm. Chunk them. I'm just gonna roughly chop them. I'm not gonna be able to chop every single one of them. I don't care that much. I think we're super tempted um, to go and try out a bunch of new places to eat and things like that. And one of y'all had recommended this amazing custard place that I really wanna try. <laughs> but I'm gonna save that for like a weekend fun treat because I just like, so tempting to go out to eat every night and things like that, but I think we're trying to save that for like weeknights or weekends, sorry, and still eat healthy on the weeknights. Um, we also booked the Children's Museum. I booked that for this weekend um, from 10 to 2 on Saturday. 
Ah, uh, so excited about that. Take a little Arlo there. Figured it'd be good right before his nap. And then he can either nap on the car ride home, or we can go get lunch. Either way, it'll be fun to go into the city and the traffic won't be as bad that early in the morning. I already wazed it. Because <laughs> I was like, this traffic is nuts. And then, if you're from the area, do you recommend going to see a White Sox game or a Cubs game? Comments down below. Very curious to know. We're not huge sports basketball fans, but I figured it'd be so much fun to take Arlo. So get in the freezer. I'm gonna sit down and literally, ooh, you can see me. Did I leave my phone somewhere? Oh, I'm back in my chair. <laughs> sit down and edit this vlog so that I don't have to run around tomorrow morning to edit it. I feel like my room still smells like dog pee, but it's probably just the carpet. Like, you know when you associate something, like a smell with something gross, it becomes that smell. You know what I'm talking about? Or it becomes that. Like Arlo, for instance, has cucumber, like scented um, diaper, oh my God, wipes, like, yeah, diaper wipes. Um, and whenever I smell it, no matter what, even if we're cleaning, like, hands or it just smells like poop you know <laughs> so i don't know if that's what i'm smelling right now but i left the cleaner out so that if i need to do it again i'll do it i sprayed that stuff on it let it sit put a little bit in the machine and then i didn't cancel that Bissell cleaner that comes on sunday just in case i need it because little miss is probably bound to have some more accidents but that's where we're at with that what else was i gonna say oh okay we are struggling so badly and <laughs> maybe y'all can give us some tips this has ever happened to you um in our old townhome we had a thermostat that controlled downstairs and a thermostat that controlled upstairs and there was like a flap that would control and monitor the temperature based off of you know the the different rooms different um levels because honestly it gets like so much hotter up here and it stays cool downstairs and besides like running fans, you know what I mean? Like blowing cold air up and hot air down or whatever. What is y'all's solution? Do those like, is there like a system, I probably should Google this, that you can like have a like travel thermostat? I don't know, we have an electric thermostat, but it's not like a nest or something like that. So I don't know, this is the first time that this has happened to us, but we woke up, I bought a standing fan to help circulate the air but it drives Scott out and makes him like really uncomfortable at sleeping um, to try to just circulate some air. But I'm like worried about the winter. Um, but anyways, the fan has a thermostat on it and y'all our thermostat is set at like 72 and it got up to 80 degrees this morning cause it was that hot up here. Like I don't know how to, and it just depends on what side of the house the sun is on. Like right now my room is hot here when normally it's cold in the morning. I get that that's kind of a thing but I just wish that we could control the airflow, like, I don't know, per level. I don't know, is that a thing? I don't know. It's really frustrating though, so if you have any tips or tricks, let me know because I know it's only gonna be worse in the winter. It's gonna be like god awful hot up here. Um, so that's kind of what we're dealing with, with the sun and the thing. And I think these places are just built so terribly, <laughs> like so terribly. The walls are so thin, like, um, our neighbor complained, not complained, but she just let us know, hey, like, we can hear your, Scott set up his surround sound, which I already hate, so I'm really glad she complained, <laughs> not gonna lie. I hate watching TV super loud, it drives me nuts, he loves it, I hate it. Um, and it's funny because my brother thinks I watch TV really loud, so he would probably hate watching TV with Scott. Scott wants to feel like he's in a movie theater, even if he's watching Mickey Mouse on TV, like, I don't get it. But anyway, um, she like just gave us a heads up like hey I can hear your like surround sound really bad through my walls which is fine like during the day but like I go to bed pretty early and Scott likes to like watch shows later until the evening down here and she's like it's really loud so she was super nice about it just letting us know like just keep an eye in. and so we turned off the subwoofer which I'm so happy <laughs> but anyway, um, the walls are just really thin, so I think that also has to do with the insulation, which is funny, because this is the reason I picked this place, because I was like, oh, well, it's brand new, so it probably has good insulation and good windows, so it'll regulate the temperature and the heat and all that. Joke's on me. Okay, bye.